Hey, Desjuan, congrats on the win. Um, just thinking back in the last week to go from where you were last Tuesday to now, winning, winning your first Big 12 game, how do you sum up that swing and all that's happened? Um, I haven't been playing good the last two games at all. Not making shots, not playing aggressive. Uh, but I've just been in the gym working with Shane and the coaches, talking with the coaches, seeing what I can do to do better. And just, I guess it paid off for this game from the last work. Well, what is it about the smaller lineup you guys are using right now that seems to be clicking, especially with, with Davion inside? Uh, we able to switch more. We able to switch with from one through four. We can't really switch with Davion. He a bigger guy. But with Davion in, it makes it makes the um, other team sometimes have to go small because maybe they be too big. But with Davion in, he's a big body down there. We're able to switch more. And we're able to just get it out and go play faster. How, how much of a difference maker is it or has it been to be able to just lob the ball up there and watch him dunk it so often? Uh, it's been good. <laughs> just throw the ball up there, just like how Kansas was. <laughs> yeah, as a boogie, they just go throw it up there. So it's been great playing with him, having him be able to throw the ball up there and don't have to worry about turning it over or things like that. All right, thanks, Dijuan. Congrats on the win. Appreciate it. Uh, next, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Tejuan, um, are you kind of discovering your game a little bit more? I mean, you're you're in around the rim quite a bit more, and you're you just seem to be playing with more energy right now and a little more focused. Um, the last, the, the beginning of the year, I was not playing like you know in my my game energy. I was quiet and trying to act like I've been there before instead of just playing me. So. You know, I'm just playing my game. I'm just not making shots. Shots will come. I'll make them. And uh, what's it like being a sophomore in the starting lineup in one of the old farts? Um, it's great. You know, a lot of a lot of people where I'm from, a lot of people don't get this chance. And I'm just appreciating the chance that I get because a lot of people in Chicago wish they can be in my spot. So I wanna don't want to be one of those guys who just went to K State and you know wasn't successful at it. Thanks. No problem. Appreciate it. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Well, Desron, how would you uh, attribute the offensive turnaround in the last two games, 76 points and 74 points? Um, a lot of it be we, – we haven't been making shots like that, especially me. I haven't been making shots at all. Been, but I've been in the gym working on it. You just got to take what the defense give us. Today they, got, they gave us um, – Straight line drives, got to the foul lines. You got to make the free throws. You know, next game it may be something different, but just got to take what the defense give us and just got to make shots. How much have you and Mike and being among the older guys had to emphasize uh, energy to these guys and having to play hard for 40 minutes? Um, that's the biggest thing. The biggest thing is playing hard and playing defense. We, we all can score. That, that all will happen. But our main focus is to play defense and have energy. The younger guys come with energy every day. Some days, I, it may be days where I'm not so energy, but they hype me up to get energized. And, you know, me and Mike, all the guys, we all leaders. You know, it pushes us all to go be energized and be ready to play, play hard. And who drew the main assignment on uh, uh, Coleman Lands, Jalen Col Coleman Lands, and what was the emphasis on him? Um, just to guard him, he can shoot the ball. So make sure we stay, stay in, stay in front, and try to stay just to stay in front of him, play defense, and just know that he can shoot. He's a shooter. So make sure we close out with our hands. Hands would be the biggest. Hands is the biggest emphasize from the whole team. Walton, did you get him, or was it the majority of the time who guarded him? Um, you know, it's a lot of switching. So I, sometimes I don't be you know who I'm guarding. It's just a lot of switching because we 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 playing small, so it's just so much switching. You know, you get an assignment of the person you're going to guard, and you can probably guard a different person the whole game. It's just who all depends up and how their offense is, who will switch on that person. Thank you, Deshaun. Appreciate it. Sorry, guys, I'm having some Zoom issues. Uh, so, uh, Jackson Snyder with the next question. Hey, Dejuan, uh, you, you played at Iowa State last year, and, and you know how crazy that arena can get with those fans. I was just curious, your thoughts 
on, on what it was like to play on the road in an environment like that and if it was any different or if you noticed any differences uh, from last year to this year? Um, the only difference is it's just the fans, but it was still kind of loud in there. It's, you know, you can hit everybody more, but still kind of loud. Their energy still there. They all play hard. You know, it's just basketball. You just got to play and block out block out the fans and all, all the energy and focus on us and focus on playing defense. Do, do you think it's easier to focus as a team when, when you can hear everything that your coach or their coach is saying? Yeah. We watch a lot of the times. So whenever I heard them call a play, I would let Coach Webb and them know so they can let us know what, what they're running. It's, 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 kind of, it's better to not, but it's hard. It's still hard, <laughs> you know. And, and then with so much uncertainty this year and all these, these other teams having to, you know, cancel or quarantine and, and you're not really sure how things are going to go with your schedule coming up on Saturday, how do you stay focused when you don't really know whether or not you're going to have a game? Uh, just come out and play hard on the game that we got. Appreciate the game that we got because you never know. So, got to play every game like it's our last. We might, to, and we probably won't play Baylor. We probably will. You never know until that time comes. So, we got to appreciate this time with that. We just play and just stay in the gym and continue to get better as a team. Thanks, Dejuan. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Cameron Bradley. Hey, Dejuan. I mean, you recorded a double-double tonight. Um, how does it feel to have been able to accomplish that um, in the first Big 12 game of the season? And how does that kind of affect you going on forward? Um, it's great, you know, just playing my hardest every night, trying to get a double-double every game, trying to get rebounds, got to get some assists. Probably didn't get none. I'm not sure. But it's just it's just a great, great opportunity. Thanks, Dejuan. Thank you. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Uh, what's going on, Dave Juan? Good game. Um, what about Carlton Lingard? Only nine nine minutes, but he made all of his shots. Uh, got in some foul trouble. What's it like to you know have a guy like that? Uh, Right now, on the end of the bench, contribute like that. Oh uh, yeah, I was that was big time. My whole bench, my whole bench contributed. Rudy came in and played hard. Tony Antonio came in, played, got rebounds. Everybody, the whole team, the whole I, the bench was what helped us. You know, Carlton played well. You know, it's his first time coming off in, uh, um, injury, and he played well. We needed that. Them nine points helped us. I mean, his nine minutes helped us. Yeah, for sure, for sure, and then. Uh, you yeah, you like we talked about. You had everything going besides the three point shot. What's the yeah. one thing um, that that three? What's 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 not working there from behind the arc right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm in yeah. the gym working on it. Everyone, um, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I'm gonna continue to shoot it. But what you have been able to do is make some insane layups. Um, yeah. <laughs> what's that ability like? I mean, you showed that off even last game. Uh, it's fun being able to uh, have some English on the rim. You know, just continue to work on it. I'll be working on it in the gym. Got to, I'm working on my shot. Then eventually we'll fall. And I'm going to keep shooting it. It's just fun. Appreciate it, Dejvon. Great game. Appreciate it. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Dejvon, you went 11 for 11 from the line. Uh, do you recall a game in your career that you've had more makes in the free throw line without a miss? Um, nah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I had some in high school. I'm not sure. I didn't shot 23 those in high school, but not not in college. This is my first time uh, shooting at my probably not shooting. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just happy I made the free throws. <laughs> what, what is there anything you uh you attribute that success to specifically tonight? Can you repeat that again? I, I said, is there something that you specifically attribute that success to tonight? Um, just staying focused. My mindset is to keep making the free throws and keep making the shot. And if I'd, I mean, keep making layups. And if I got a three, my mindset is to be make the shot. So just staying focused is the biggest thing.